What do you make of that, Michelle? You were just nodding your head ever so slightly. Yeah. No, he, you can feel his frustration, you know, and, and he's, he's calm, but inside he's like boiling and, you know, he, he's definitely going to speak with, with individually, I think, with players as well about their uh, performances. And uh, yeah. he, he, the good thing is, like, he don't want to, like, kill the players in front of the camera. Um, but, yeah, like, the frustration he's is... Ba he's, ba he's basically saying the team's not good enough, right? Mm. I, mean, it, it, that, I mean, from that interview, from the way he's talking and you talk about all the world-class sort of defenders that he's had... Yeah. Yeah, Reading yeah. into that, it's plain to me that he's, just, he's basically saying, this team and the players that I've got are not good enough at this level. What about Jose Mourinho and his future at the club? Because I, I, you, he's saying that about the Spurs side, but this is a Spurs side which not too long ago were playing in the Champions League final. Were always pushing and still are pushing for a spot in the Champions League. They're, they're in a strong position to finish off the season, maybe in the top four. But what if the fans were in the stadium, Jamie? Do you reckon Marino will be feeling a lot more pressure given how they've played, given some of the football, the, the defensive dour yeah. football? I, I, yeah, I think he'll definitely be, be coming under some scrutiny with the fans. So, you know, the fans are not going to be happy with them performances, especially it's happened time and time again this season. You we're leading, going in front, and then not taking three points from the games. And, you know, it, it's not it's not good enough. But, to his credit, they are fifth in the league now. They are still in the hunt for a Champions League spot. They are in a cup final. And really and truthfully, this team that I'm looking at in terms of players are not good enough. They're not Jose. This is not a Jose Mourinho side. He would not be signing players like Joe Roden, Sanchez. He would not play these players, but he hasn't got pl other players that are good enough to take them positions. You know, this is his first full season, but we had COVID. He wasn't able to sign really the players that I feel we really wanted to get. They haven't spent the money that they, that, that they probably promised him. So... It's not great. It's not good to watch. But what, there's only so much he can do. Looking at them performances from some of the players, it's just not good enough. Yeah. Michelle, isn't that the fault of the manager if, if the players aren't stepping up, though? No, like, it's it's a difficult one for me because the thing is, as well, we, we saw this season uh, a lot of games that there are individual mistakes. And this is something, as a manager, yeah, what can you do, you know? Uh, and this is has to do with quality, obviously. But if you look at the squad in general, I still believe that they have a good enough squad to to play better football, you know, and to do better. And and to to um, uh, the back four has been a problem throughout the whole season. And this is something. Um, how is that possible? You know, uh, he tried so many things. And 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 this is, if you ask me, you know, the the manager has to make a decision uh, that's more clear. Or, uh, and now he starts. Uh, the team that's played uh, all right against Villa, and against Villa was 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 they were all right. <laughs> and today, it was, so the next uh, next game he's gonna change it again, or you know. So mm -hmm. it it has to do with definitely with quality, but I still uh, you know in in general I still think they have like okay maybe in the back not per se, but in general they have a, a great squad. But that's yeah. the thing. The squad, Jamie, sorry to interrupt here, but based on what you're saying, I look at some of the teams around them. Leicester are well above Spurs. Would you say yeah. that Leicester have a much better squad than Tottenham? Probably not, given the, the amount of it's investment not. there. What about West Ham, who I know are below Spurs right now, but they're yet to play their game. I think they're in action on Monday night. They could go back above Spurs. I know, but I just look at this back four of Spurs, and I just, apart from Reguilón, I just don't see anyone there that's good enough. Jose Mourinho has always had world-class centre-halves. Jose Mourinho won the league with Chelsea. They conceded 15 goals in the whole season. You know, this is... Spurs concede two every week, you know? Like, they're just not consistent enough. You know, one week they'll be all right, then they can make mistakes. You know, the defending's just shambolic. And, you know, this, you've got to remember that Jose Mourinho always builds a, a side through two world-class centre-halves. He's always had that in Pepe, in John Terry's, in Carvalho's. He hasn't got that as Spurs. He, the only players who say are worthy of that are Olderwald, 
he's the only one who can put in that bracket to say he's good. But he's obviously getting older now. But they need two world-class centre-halves. And then they probably go and win that game and we'll be talking about, look, we've gone to fourth. They win the game 2-0. Harry Kane scores. And you don't talk about anything else above than, you know, positivity. But the problem is, is Spurs can't hold on to Leeds because the defence isn't good enough. What about actually taking the game to the opponents, though? We saw, for example, the game against Arsenal when they're chasing the game and they seem to leave it too late. It looks like Spurs, when they take a lead, they're happy to sit back, but they have the players. We looked at the bench today. Lamella, Bale, Son, Deli Ali to take the game to the opponents as opposed to trying to hold on oh, to a one-goal advantage. All right, you can't say he didn't do that. He brings Son on at half-time and, and Son didn't really do too much. He brings Lamella on and Lamella in good positions, made poor decisions. All right, the Gareth Bale saga is just, you know, I think everyone's had enough of that now, right? Even Jose Mourinho's had enough. You can see he's bringing him on for five minutes. He had a little sort of couple of weeks, three weeks of him producing, playing well, scoring goals. But in the, in the two big games, Arsenal and Zagreb, he was really poor. You know, his comments as well about the just being, wants to be fit to play for Wales. I think that's, you know, turned a really sort of sour way now with, with everyone involved. So I think that saga just needs to be ended. But you can't say he didn't go for it. Bringing on Son, bringing on Lamella to go and finish the game off, you have to rely on your players at some point as well to produce. Michelle, what do you, what do you reckon yeah, about I, that? Yeah, but I, 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 it looked like they always, you know, eat. The, the moment that, that Newcastle scores, then Tottenham is in a hurry, you know, and then it's too late. And this has happened so many times this season, you know, and it felt like, you know, they sit back too much in the second half, you know. Uh, I agree with with, 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 uh, with the substitutions, you know, in, in the sense of, you know, getting uh, Sonny on and, and Lamella. Um, but still, you know, they, they for me, they, they were pressing much better in the first half than the second half. You know, Tottenham was sitting too much back. And, and you invite Newcastle, you know, because it is one goal, a one goal difference, you know. And... And on the counter attack, they were uh, they had some possibilities, and if they, they they couldn't finish it off, you know, and then this happens. And for me, this happens too many times this season, you know. And especially if you ask me, they in a way they sit in back more, you know, when they're in, uh, in leading uh, than than other way around. But, and but, I always try to change it around when they concede the goal, and then it's too late. What I want to know is, Michelle, is why is that? Is it the players yeah. who are making that decision on the pitch, or is it the manager asking the players to sit deeper? Yeah. That's what I need this to know. This is a good question, because the, he, uh, I think Mourinho came out a few times and he said, no, this, you know, I, I told them not to sit back. Or, But I, I, that's why you need leaders on the pitch you know, um, to say, it doesn't matter what the manager is saying, you know, you feel if you are doing 10% more against Newcastle, with all due respect, you're better, you're a better side, you know, and that's why, but you could see it happened, what was happening, it was happening, and why or, or whose uh, decision, yeah, that, that's hard to say, but I think as, 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 a, as a player on the pitch, the, the, the 11 players on the pitch, they need also to, the, the, the leaders need to stand up, you know, to say, hey, you know, we need to step step it up a bit and we need to press them high again a bit more because in the first half they were pressing them much better than the second half.